Prince Harry, a close friend of Meghan Markle, reveals formal arrangements for the coronation. The closest friend of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle has spoken out about the near-daily exclusives regarding their plans for King Charles' coronation. Omid Scobie, the author of Discovering Freedom and the biography of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, has made this observation. These revelations were made by Mr. Scobie in his most recent exclusive piece for Yahoo News. He kicked off the discussion by criticizing the near-daily exclusives on the couple's alleged plans for King Charles' coronation in May that appear in nearly every newspaper. The couple hasn't been invited yet and can't make a decision or plan anything until that happens, sources tell me, so no one, no matter how well sourced, knows their intentions right now. Princess Eugenie displays her growing baby bump while out on a fancy date with her husband. On Thursday, Princess Eugenie was photographed out and about for dinner while flaunting her expanding baby bulge. As Princess Eugenie went out for supper in Notting Hill on Thursday night, she proudly displayed her expanding baby bulge. The 32-year-old queen and husband Jack Brooksbank are expecting their second child. The younger daughter of the Duke of York was photographed going out to dinner with her husband while donning a stylish black outfit. It follows Eugenie's brief, covert trip to California last week, which sparked rumors that the couple would be relocating to the United States. On February 16, she attended the Freeze LA VIP art exhibition at Santa Monica Airport. The expectant princess previously spent years working at the prestigious Hauser and Wirth Gallery in London. She also has some prior experience living in the U.S., having done so while working for the Paddle 8 auction house in New York between 2013 and 2015. The distance between Montecito, where Prince Harry and Meghan Markle reside, and Santa Monica Airport is only 90 minutes. After going to the Super Bowl game with the Duke in 2021, Eugenie became known for her friendship with Harry. Harry stated that Eugenie and Jack were the first royals to meet Meghan in his contentious book, Spare. In the book, he recalled their first meeting and stated that the two women got along like if they were sisters. The rumors have been further reinforced by the fact that Eugenie's husband Jack is a businessman with close ties to U.S. CEO Michael Meldman. The pair currently divides their time between Portugal, where Jack works in high-end property development, and the U.K. In the summer, Eugenie is anticipated to give birth to her second child. August is very much looking forward to being a big brother, the pair wrote in their initial announcement on January 24. At the time, the couple made public a picture of Eugenie grinning at her son as he embraced and kissed her stomach. The picture was taken by Mr. Brooksbank. The newborn, who will be a simple miss or master, will be born 13th in line for the throne. August Philip Hawk Brooksbank, the couple's son, turned two recently. He was born at the Portland Hospital in the heart of London on February 9, 2021. Before meeting Prince Harry, Meghan Markle lived in a modest three-bedroom house in Toronto. Meghan Markle lived in a modest three-bedroom house in a Toronto suburb before she wed Prince Harry in 2018. When Meghan Markle moved to London to be closer to Prince Harry, the Duchess of Sussex's previous Canadian home was placed up for sale. This improved the view of the home she had owned for her followers. For a spell, mostly during the filming of Suits, Meghan resided in the three-bedroom, two-bathroom home on Yarmouth Road in the Seaton Village neighbourhood. Elizabeth Cabral a Canadian fashion stylist who owns the business, rented the home on her behalf. Fans of the Queen could see photos of how she adorned her old home on her former Instagram account, where she frequently posted about her two dogs. When Harry visited Meghan at the beginning of their relationship, he used to stay at the house. The prince reportedly paid Meghan two covert visits to her Toronto home every two weeks when she had filming commitments there. 